In the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you how you can move to Portugal for two years on the new digital nomad visa. I'm Brittany from Nomads Embassy, the world's first embassy for digital nomads, where we simplify a lifestyle of working remotely while traveling the world full time. Portugal recently introduced their official digital nomad visa back in October of 2022. Now, this may be a little confusing for some because previously we were calling the D7 visa the, the digital nomad visa. However, this was only because that was the only option that digital, nomad, that digital nomads could apply for to live in Portugal. Now, Portugal is officially welcoming remote workers and digital nomads to come and live in Portugal with the new digital nomad visa. So how long can you stay in Portugal with this visa? Once you are approved for the visa, you can stay in Portugal for up to four months. But during these four months, you will be applying for your residence permit. This residence permit will last for two years and is renewable for another three years. And then after five years of legally living in Portugal, you can apply for permanent residency. Now, this is one of the few digital nomad visas that lead to a permanent residency or even citizenship in, in the country. So that's why Portugal's digital nomad visa is super valuable right now for people who want to relocate um, to Europe. You can also bring a spouse and dependents with you uh, to Portugal on the digital nomad visa. So who is eligible to apply for the visa? Firstly, you must have a valid passport and work remotely. There is a minimum income requirement of $2,750 per month. You must also have health insurance that covers you in Portugal and a clean criminal record. When applying for the visa, you must also have a Portuguese tax ID, also known as an NIF. So before officially applying for the visa, you will have to apply for this tax ID. And so what is the application process like for the Portugal Digital Nomad Visa? Firstly, you must apply for the NIF, which is the Portuguese tax ID number, and you will submit this documentation along with your application and these other documents. So you'll need a copy of your passport and passport sized photos. You will need proof of your remote work. This can be through employment contracts, freelance contracts, or proof that you have an established business outside of Portugal. You'll also need to submit your proof of income. Usually this will be through bank statements from the last six months. You'll also need to submit your health insurance policy, proving that you are covered in Portugal and a certified criminal background check from your country of residence. Now, if you are bringing a spouse and dependents with you, you have to submit proof of relationship. So that could be a marriage certificate, birth certificates or adoption certificates. And then lastly, you'll have to include your NIF documents. To submit your Portugal Digital Nomad Visa application, you will have to visit a Portuguese embassy or consulate in your country of residence. There is no way to apply for this visa while you're already in Portugal. So make sure that you plan to stay in your country of residence while applying for the visa. And there is a 90 euro application fee. Once your visa is approved, you can come to Portugal and start the process to apply for your uh, residence permit. So I just gave you a lot of information about how to apply for Portugal's digital nomad visa. But with Nomads Embassy, your digital nomad visa application can be so much easier than if you were to do it all on your own. We have traveled to Portugal and have hand selected the perfect immigration lawyer who we trust to handle our members' digital nomad visa applications. So how do you get in contact with our hand selected immigration lawyer? I have included our step-by-step -step Portugal Digital Nomad Visa Guide in the description below on nomadsembassy.com. In this article, you will find a contact form. So simply fill out the form and schedule a call with us so that we can then connect you with our immigration lawyer. And that's it. In those simple steps, you can be on your way in just a few weeks to living in Portugal and working remotely. Happy nomading.